Hello. Hi. Hello. Today we look at the press. That's newspapers and news magazines. What's in a newspaper? Well, this is the front page and this is the headline. This is the back page and there are lots of articles. This is an article and it's written by a reporter or journalist. This article was written by a reporter called Howard Smith. Let's see what's in the newspaper today. Oh, a bank in Manchester was robbed last night. Mm, really? Mm. Is that right? Oh, a new hotel was opened last week in Los Angeles. Oh, yes. Really? Hey, look at this. What? The Queen was seen in a shop in Edinburgh. Really? The Queen in a shop? That's amazing. A bank was robbed last night. A bank was robbed last night. A new hotel was opened. A new hotel was opened. And the Queen was seen in a shop in Edinburgh. That's the kind of news I like reading. What kind of things do you like reading in newspapers? I like to read the sports and I like to read what's going on locally versus nationwide. I like reading about current affairs and I like reading um, art reviews and book reviews. I like to read, first and foremost, the news, but secondly, the funny page. I usually only read the Sunday papers, and I like to read the whole thing. It's part of the whole day. I read everything in the paper, except football. I always read the horoscopes. I like reading about the royal family. Julia Marsh and James Brady are still working on the advertising campaign for the new educational computer. Here it is. Listen and learn with the talking computer. Hey, that looks great. Are you surprised? No, I knew it would look good. Now, let's look through all these newspapers and magazines. Why? To see if there are any new advertisements for other computers. Oh. Right. Lola Davis has been arrested. James. No, listen to this. Jazz pianist Lola Davis was arrested last night at her hotel in Liverpool. Look, don't read the articles. Look at the advertisements. Sorry. Two famous Greek statues have been stolen from a museum in Athens. Really? Yes, apparently they were stolen yesterday morning while their guards were having coffee. Very interesting. Can we get on with our work? OK. Hey. James. I'm sorry, Julia. There's a story here you may wish to read. I'm too busy. It's about MAP. Really? Well, let me have a look. James was more interested in looking at the articles than the advertisements. Let's listen again to some of the things he said. Lola Davis has been arrested. Lola Davis has been arrested. We don't know when Lola Davis was arrested. Then James reads the article and finds out.
She was arrested last night. She was arrested last night. And what was the story about the two statues? Two statues have been stolen. Two statues have been stolen. They were stolen yesterday. They were stolen yesterday. Og has been robbed. Who? Og. Are you sure? Yes. Og has been robbed. I know. And Og's wife has been robbed. Are you sure? Yes. Og has been robbed. Og's wife has been robbed. And Og's brother has been robbed. Everything's been stolen. Uh, Og? Yes. And Og's wife? Yes. And Og's brother? Yes! Haven't been robbed. What? It was a mistake. Everything has been found. to James and Julia and the article about MAP, the advertising agency that they used to work for. The prize for the best advertising campaign of the year has been presented to MAP Advertising. What for? Which campaign? Um, hold on. MAP were given the prize for... Where is it? Ah, the Drake Bicycles campaign. What? Apparently Tom Hall was presented with the prize in London last night. Last night? Tom was in London last night? Yes. I'm surprised he didn't come and see us. Are you surprised? I'm not. Why? Because he has been given a prize for something that was done by me. What do you mean? Drake Bicycles was my account. I managed that campaign. Oh. I see. I'd like to have a word with Tom Hall. Ivan Fallon is the deputy editor of one of the most famous newspapers in Britain, The Sunday Times. What kind of newspaper is The Sunday Times? It's a, a, a broadsheet newspaper as opposed to what we call a tabloid newspaper. If I could show you that, that this is twice the size of a tabloid newspaper. We print them on the same presses as a tabloid newspaper, but a tabloid newspaper is that shape. It's a very large newspaper. It's a multi-section newspaper. We've got eight sections and a magazine. The, the first section, which is obviously the most important section, is what we call the news section. And in that, we have home news, we have foreign news, and we have analysis of uh, some of the major events of the week. The editor, personally, decides what goes on this front page. More effort and time goes in this front page than any other page in the paper. This story was written by Andrew Grice, the chief political correspondent, uh, but had, the, had many hands in it, uh, particularly the hand of uh, his immediate boss, who's uh, the political editor. And we always have one major picture on this page, and this is the new Versace skirt in the Paris fashion shows, which shows that short skirts are back. After that, we have f more specialised sections. We have what we call the news review section. This section includes what we call the leader, which is the newspaper's editorial comment, our views on what is the most important event of the week. 
uh, this one here, which will be personally written by the editor, uh, which is a, an attack upon the government's economic policy and its employment policies. This is our contribution to the political debate. The third section, which is the section I edit, is business. This is a, a section that is a, amazingly well read. It's the classified advertising section. Classified advertisements being special or small ad advertisements, quite often they're tiny ads. Uh, here we have ads for second-hand cars. We have ads for houses. We have ads for, for jobs. And now we get to our tabloid sections. Uh, we have effectively three tabloid sections. The reason for this is we found that uh, not everybody likes the large broadsheet format. Uh, we've developed this particular section as our art section. It's a section that people will keep and, and, and read all through the week, basically because it also contains all the television programmes that will be on in Britain. It's a complete television guide. The, the book section we call uh, Section 6 it was the first time in Britain that this type of separate section had been done on books and is still the only separate book section in Britain. We also have a colour magazine, colour supplement, which is very much a separate part of the paper, entirely different type of style and entity to the rest of the, of the newspaper proper. And it is a, a, a magazine that's planned up to six weeks ahead, printed totally outside, got its own editor, its own staff, its own separate writers, uh, its own separate style. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Working for the Sunday Times is dramatically exciting. You are absolutely at the centre of what are the most exciting events that particular week. Ivan Fallon of the Sunday Times. And that's all for today. The programme was presented by Natalie Forbes, and Kevin Dutcher. And David Riley. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.